the biggest solar flare in seven years has erupted and it's headed directly to Earth. This really is a time period of everything all at once, all energies deployed all at once to build up that pressure to cause change. Energy is the ability to cause change. And we're witnessing and living through a change of timelines. It's good to see everyone. If you're new to the channel, I'm Michael. I discuss the Ascension journey and I make it relevant for everyday life people. And right now, we've been dealing with a lot of chaotic energies. And alongside of it right now, we have the biggest solar flare in seven years. So uh, this X-class solar flare, X9.05 solar flare erupted from sunspot AR3842 and Earth is in its direct path. And seven years ago was the last time we had a solar flare of this size. And coincidentally or synchronistically, we had that massive eclipse. And we had the same again seven years later. We always see that seven year synchronicity. Your tribulation is over. And we're witnessing a shift of timelines. You, you might already be feeling this, so you might have felt the chaos over the past few days. You know, we've had the eclipse. We've had so many changes that have been happening. And, you know, we could see it in the chaotic energies in the world, the storms, the earthquakes, the increased volcanism. Well, that stirring up not only is happening in the macro, but it's also happening in the micro. So you might be feeling this as well. And you, you might be uh, shook up and the pressure is on. And this is so that we could have the change. You know, sometimes we need a little extra activational energy. And, you know, since we're having the biggest solar flare in seven years right now, um, you know, we have a collection of so many changes that can be applied for a bigger change. And we're witnessing a bigger change within our lives. And you might be getting this message right now. And you know, you, you're kind of going through a lot of changes and you, you almost feel like, you know, can, can I even go on any further? Can I go on? <laughs> That's how a lot of us are feeling. Can I even go on any further? You know, I, it feels like I survived another timeline jump. Is that you? Are you are you here listening to this? You could write it in the comments if you felt that way. You know, this ain't our first rodeo. A lot of us have been through this. We're doing this through our vibrational frequency. So as our frequency shifts, we're going to jump that timeline and we want to be a vibrational match. So uh, during these time periods, uh, you might actually lose people, things, and situations. You might actually lose some weight. Yeah, you know, uh, some of the old dense uh, cells, the, the dense uh, dead cell parts, the, 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 the traumas, the energies of the past, they have to leave us. You know, on my journey, I know about this. I know it like the back of my hand. And since I spent so much time studying and learning and, and taking the science and learning about metaphysics and, and learning about the, the shifts of ascension, well, I actually assist this along. And I've shared, I know there's always new people uh, that come onto this channel. I, I've been assisting this along, uh, you know, tapping into the body's natural ability to achieve autophagy. And you, right now, you could say, you know what, uh, I, I do feel a little stirring up inside or you might be called to fast. Now on our journey, we have to really tap into our intuition. And this is something that is supposed to be natural, but you know, it has left uh, people. You know, people were told to listen to the words and not the energies behind the words. If that seems interesting to you, you should check out Dr. Bruce Lipton and he teaches us about that. It's not about the words, it's about the energy behind the words. So people can't tell you how to live your everyday life. You're going to have to feel the, the, the current situation uh, in the world. You're going to have to feel the current situation in your body and then you're going to have to implement the changes that call you. So you might be called uh, to, uh, you know, maybe uh, take a step back at this time because it is very harsh. You might uh, be called to fast at this time. 
there are many different things that you can do. You know, I, I spend as much time as possible uh, out in nature and you know, I'm spending this time uh, creating this world famous video for all of you out in nature. So the nature time needs to be up if it calls you. Uh, you know, the uh, water uh, needs to increase, stay hydrated at this time. And you know, it, it's, that's something that's just naturally part of my everyday life. But I do speak to a lot of people. I have a lot of friends. Some of them are watching and they, and they say, you know what, I don't, I don't drink enough water. Um, but you know, really know that what you consume uh, is going to uh, be uh, so important for your overall vibrational frequency. And what we consume is what we eat and what we drink. And it's also what we watch and what we listen to. And I'm out here in the light of Christ to tell all of you, this is not a time period of fear. It's a time period for Jubilee. You might see a lot of people out there, they want to pump the fear. You know, there's like an addiction to fear. And you know, we're not going to play part of that. So if you are watching uh, people that pump fear and oh, this, this uh, bad uh, thing is going to happen and this negative thing is going to happen. Well, they're actually trying to pull you onto the lower timeline. On my journey was my responsibility and my honor to pull you guys up onto the higher timeline. And through vibrational synchronization, we sync up with people according to what's inside of us, according to our content of character, according to our vibrational frequency. So everything uh, really does matter. Uh, at this time, so make sure you're eating the foods uh, that that call you to eat. You know, and everyone has a different path. And you know, a lot of times when uh, we do get these uh, big uh, solar activities, these these energetic events, if you will, I'm called. Uh, to, to eat potatoes. I, I, I love to, and potatoes are grounding, comes out of the ground. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm standing outside barefoot uh, right now. I went to the beach earlier, barefoot. Grounding is a very uh, important thing to do. And it's something that you should practice uh, every single day of your life. You know, there's a lot of people out there that suffer from nature's deficit disorder. They put on rubber soles, they go in the cubicle, they, uh, they deal with stress from their boss and they're beaten down all day long and then, they, and then their uh, you know, physical and mental wellness declines. So uh, you gotta really at this time, and, and I know it, you're gonna have to put yourself first. You're gonna have to let go because uh, there's nothing that we can do. Because this wave, the tsunami wave, uh, this, this flood, if you will, is not going to be water. It's going to be an electromagnetic wave. But just like when I go to the beach and, and oh, I say, oh, look at that big wave over there. It doesn't matter how big or strong you think you are. That wave is going to knock you over. So you either have to get out of the way or learn how to ride the wave. And here we're learning how to ride the waves. So why don't you comment down below? It's time to ride the waves because that's all that we could really do. So it is a, it is a very powerful uh, moment in the history of humanity. A lot of you know this. There really are no coincidences. It's all synchronicities. You know about this year. You know there's a lot of revealing. Um, it is already known. And this is not uh, spiritual woo-woo stuff, but uh, you know the sun, uh, solar activities are connected to human consciousness and brain waves. So we're witnessing a lot of people, a lot of revelations, right? Uh, you know, we live in the end days, the end of times, the end of fake linear time. It's not a negative thing. It's the apocalypse. Ooh, it's the apocalypse. It's not a negative thing. Apocalypse means a great revealing. The things that we're in the dark are coming to the light. Okay, so now we have a ton of light coming in, electromagnetic energy coming in. It's going to maybe help us expand and give a little assistance. We have to do things on a daily basis, but every once in a while, God is going to assist us on our journey. And I've shared about this. Why don't you hit the subscribe button if you're new? You know, God is always assisting us. I'm trying to uh, teach balance and alignment for people, and, and I show it across the board. Okay, we have to live with balance and alignment. We have to have faith in God, and we have to have the inexhaustible belief in ourselves. Okay, so we see people that just say, oh, God, do it for me. And then we have people that have no faith in God at all, right? Uh, a spiritually lost society, you know, the Hopi. I, I speak about the Hopi Blue Star prophecy, you know, and it spoke about this time period. And, you know, the, the Hopi had many, many uh, prophecies about this time. 
So there was the, you know, the blue star prophecy of people that were lost spiritually in the end days. And then there's also the rainbow warriors. Are you a rainbow warrior? Let us know in the comments. And we come from different colors, classes, and creeds. And through vibrational frequency, we're, we're linking up right now. And we're anchoring in, okay? We're anchoring in the grid. It's not some spiritual mumbo jumbo term. Every single person, there's so many, so many people that are part of this community and other communities. It's just divine timing when we find each other. Okay, so you might be on a different continent, a different country. Where are you located? Let us know in the comments. All different backgrounds, but we're all coming together. This is the true unity, right? So there's a lot of things that are happening. It's a sorting, there's unity, there's many different things. It's not just one word, one term. You're gonna see this out there. People are gonna use one term and, and try, to, try to paint everything with a broad stroke, if you will. All right, these are our everyday lives and each individual person has a specific journey. And it's my honor to share you about my journey and I just hope that uh, I motivate you and, and you know, we're just aspiring to become 1% better every single day. So we just have, uh, we're bracing for impact uh, as we're leaving this message and you might already be feeling it already. Some of us feel it uh, once it, it bursts or pops off. Remember linear time is fake. Remember it's a window of time. It's not everything at one, it's like, like a literal, uh, you know, uh, pressing, uh, pressing a, a reset button kind of thing. Uh, but we feel it within the same time frame. So you might have certain uh, experiences, certain glitches. It's unbelievable the amount of glitches that I've been experiencing. I, I almost get to the point where I'm just like, you know, it's just like another day. I'm just accustomed to it and I don't even, I'm just like, uh, it's just another glitch, you know. It's, it's amazing how high the energy is right now. And you have to know thyself. I'm gonna leave you with this. There's a lot of things going on up and down, back and forth, all these chaotic energies. The most important thing is to know thyself. I know the ins and outs of my body. I don't have to listen to anyone else. I know what I'm feeling. I know what I'm doing. I know what's going on. You have to know yourself. Know thyself. Be the leader that you were destined to be. So I love each and every one of you. I hope that this message uh, resonates with you and keeps you motivated at this time period. It's not stopping. Uh, please uh, take a look at the channel page if you're new. This is something that we've been discussing for a long period of time. And let's become the best version of ourselves. Hey everyone, let's improve every single day. Even if it's only 1%, let's improve physically, mentally, and spiritually. Let's use science, let's use spirituality. Let's put it all together. Let's achieve balance. Let's get back into alignment. Let's become the highest version of ourselves because this massive solar flare is gonna help assist us to rise up to a higher plane of existence. This is true ascension. I am the defender of our everyday lives. No matter what comes your way, light warriors, just keep going. That's all you gotta do is keep going. That's the only thing you can do. Even if we have to move really slow like the turtle, just like the turtle. I told you guys the story about the turtle. When the turtle makes the decision, it doesn't turn back. It goes, even if it goes slow and steady. Just take one step, day after day. Move forward, one step, day after day. And eventually, you've moved yourself onto a totally different timeline.